17 past 8. The Radio Whammo Breakfast. The view from Ariel Al's place. Last week it was Cardrona, this week I think he's back in the homestead. Good day there. I'm, 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 I haven't even got out of bed yet, Wamo. <laughs> oh, really? So you got even... Lying here, looking out over the beautiful Banks Peninsula, the sun's staring in, coming into the bedroom. It's a really great spot. School holidays, mate. There's no need to get them off to school, so why wow. hurry? True, true, very why true. Hurry? Why hurry? Why, why get out there? But um, what fantastic conditions are we having at the moment, Wamo? It's it's um it's very much where spring is in full effect, yeah. Oh mate, it, it, mm. it, it, do you see many lambs walking around the streets of Auckland at the moment? Uh, no, no, I don't. No, they're in full effect down here, mate. Really? I tell you that. There uh, the other day, coming coming back from the Southern Lakes region, there was there were, there were, there were carloads of tourists parked on the side of the road, taking pictures of the lambs springing around in the green paddocks. Yeah, it was just like the brochure. Yeah, just just like just like the like, like they said it would. It was it was it was, it was great, but it, it amazes me where the where the where the where the tourists vital to the New Zealand economy park on the side of the road. Usually, usually they usually park on a blind corner yep. and then all walk across onto the other side of the road, creating a single lane for the for both 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 traffic to go through. Yep, and normally on probably um, broken yellow lines. Oh, you see. Definitely a broken the yellow chain. You know, yeah. it's, 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 it's pretty good, but um, no, great bit of weather down here. And but but I tell you what, last week, last week down in the Southern Lakes region, holy smoke! Talk about winter coming in. Yeah. Oh, I think I think it snowed three times while we were down there. Crikey. Yeah, well, a, pretty, um, pretty good because I mean, you—that's what you were there for. Bit of snow. Yeah, but down there for the old, the old junior nationals. But you know, I've been involved in being a snowboard parent, supporting the old, the youngster as he goes through his tries and tribulations of the under nine, the under nine uh, category. But he did, he did, he did really well, and so uh, I ended up being a proud father at the end of it. So. Uh, you no, know, it was great, mate. And I tell you what, the sport, the, the sport of skiing and snowboarding is definitely alive in those younger age groups. There were people from all over the show. I think it was two. I think I'm quite 230 competitors, mm. and um, a full week of celebration. Wow. Hey, yeah. Ariel, I know that you're a um, you're a stickler for rules, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, occasionally, st- yeah. Oh, oh, well, what breaking them or or making them? But both, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and, 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 and we haven't had a chance to um, chat about the new road rules they're going to be introducing in a couple of years' time um, that, is, that is changing the, the give way to the right oh, yes. yep. rules. Yep, yep. Wait, wait, is it a good move, do you think? Oh, mate, I think it's a great You're, you're talking looks- about, hey, you're, 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 hanging, you're hanging on the corner, you're yeah. hanging at the traffic lights, and it's just like all of a sudden it's like, hey, I can just do a sneaky lefty here and, um, and get away with it. Are you talking about that one? Well, yeah, but you'd have to give way to to the right at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah well, I don't know about that, mate. I'm, I'm, I, I believe, I believe. Well, have, have, you, have you ever driven around America, uh, Wamo? Yes. You know how you're allowed to sit at a red traffic light and do a sneaky left whenever you know whenever whenever one of you can you. Oh, totally, mate. You're allowed to sneak around corners as long as there's nothing else going. And what it does, mate, it just means that as, as long as there's no traffic coming, you can just get. You're not allowed to go. Hang on, if, hang on. If, if you're if you're in the states and you're doing a sneaky left, you're crossing a lane, aren't you? Sorry, it's a sneaky right. Sneaky right. Yeah. yeah okay, right. go ahead, no. caller. Yes. Oh, okay, but if you but if you <laughs> okay, but if you translate it from Americanism into New Zealandism, basically you get yeah. you, you're doing it. You're doing a sneaky left. Hmm. But over there, you're allowed to do a sneaky right. But then, if you, of course, they're on the other side of the road. So, I, I, you know, I don't know about this. I don't know about that one though, Wamo, the one you're talking about. You mean you're just standing there? There's no lights at all. Yeah, well, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, no lights at all. So you, you're on the left hand side of the road, and you're wanting to turn left. But at the moment, you have to give way um, to the right. Yes, you right? are. But, well, but they're going to do away with that. I don't know. Well, I don't know, mate. I quite like it the way it is at the moment because you do realise that a lot of people get confused with the rule as it is. So therefore, you'd be in a situation where half the people would 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 know what they were doing, but half the people would go would would carry on doing mm. it because they didn't know the rule actually existed. Mm. And I think it's it's it's, it's I'm pretty much on the fence about. What are you, you Wemo? Where where are you standing? Well, about? I've always felt that particular rule was was pretty silly, but I, I think there's there's some others that are. Um, that, that, I mean, it's the same rule, but it's changing in other circumstances as well, and that that's where it gets a little bit murky for me. But but I feel in that particular situation, it just it is kind of weird. It is weird. Isn't it? That, 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 is, that is a strange one, and that, that does need shoring up. But what do, you, what do you reckon? Do you think there'll be a bit of um, bit of chaos? Well, not oh, chaos, there'll be, but there'll, there'll be... be... There was chaos already on the roads, mate. People yeah. don't know the, role, the yeah. rules. And all of a sudden they'll say, oh, this rule doesn't exist. 
and of course there'll be chaos because yeah. you know it'll, it'll just go mad. But I'm, I, I will say, when it comes to rules, where I'm definitely all about sitting in the lights and getting a sneaky left. Yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Right. I love a good sneaky left. But oh, speaking of road rules, yeah. I was, I was. Have you ever used the Star Five Five Five? I have actually, yes. Yeah, I, 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 I used the Star Five 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 the other day. I'm a bit of, a, I'm starting to become a bit of a fan of the I, old Star Five Five Five. I do it with pleasure. Well, it is, but, but but the thing that I was disappointed about was there was this there was this rental car, like one of those little Daihatsu silver, juicy rentals, and basically he overtook someone on five blind corners on the way back, and I'm like, oh my god, he's about to, someone's about to die in front of me. So I went and mm. did the old star five five five, and so for the rest of the trip back to Christchurch, I was sitting there in anticipation, wanting to see whether this guy got pulled up or not. And I yeah. tell you what, if he did get pulled up. I was going to get out of the car and smash him. I like, knew I like, you weren't, Ariel. I, well, That's I, not I, a new. Well, mate, I was pissed off, Whammo. I was very, very angry. Yeah. I wasn't, wasn't, and the, you know, angry to the point where it's just like, how dare you drive down the road like that? You know, you just think it's like one of my friends could have been coming the other mm-hmm. way, Whammo, and mm-hmm. this, this car would have gone straight into him. It's, and so I'm a great fan of the Star 55, but unfortunately... The the, uh, the 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 plod didn't pull them up, so I was a wee bit disappointed really? about that because I gave them heaps of warning. Well, we had a good um, a good uh, experience of this um, on the west coast of the South Island once. Um, yeah, same same situation. A guy um, over um, going around blind, cutting corners on blind corners and that kind of thing. Yep. Just you know, if if anyone was coming the other way, it would have been a head on. Um, and and he was also a little bit erratic, sort of swerving and whatnot. And we did the star five five five, and I think we were coming into um, Hokitika. Yep. And um, and then and then we saw him get pulled over. The the um, the cop came the other way and and pulled him over in the middle of the township. And um, but the, by that time the guy I think was aware that it was us that had yep. called. And yep. so so by the time we drove past, he was shaking his fist. At us oh, while, he? While, while, he was while, trying to smash you, even though you were driving past. Exactly. While while the cop was talking to him, and the cop was like, "Settle down." And, and anyway, they got back to us. <laughs> the police also got back to us and said he was a um he was a a doctor um who had been off his medication or something. <laughs> Oh my God, that's yeah. crazy! So, hey, so then, guys, I think it's worthwhile. I mean, you know, if you see that sort of stuff on the road, do do something about it. Oh, totally. There's no, you know, there's no, you know, especially if, 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 if you know, if, if lives and, and limbs are at risk. Hey, and, um, and a bit of a lo- and a big bit of a loss down here. Where have you heard of that? Negative. No, no, the a, a landmark is gone. A natural landmark. The, the, the end of Banks Peninsula, the beautiful Banks Peninsula, the volcanic activity that have 5.2 million years ago. Yeah. There's a massive archway out there, like where the, which has been eroded through the through the the ocean over millions of years. It, it got weakened over our, our our earthquake, and then the other day it collapsed. Oh, what was it? Did it have a name? Well, it, it's oh, it's in Sleepy Bay. So um, there's a there's a good wee article on the, in Stuff today if you get on there and have a look at it. But um. It's in Sleepy Way at the end, and there's been movies made of it. It's a burial Aww. site, the whole nine yards, and it's sort of like, it, in, 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 in in Auckland terms, it's probably like, you know, out at, at Mirawai where the gannets sit on top. It's like that thing disappearing. Oh, really? Yeah, a bit of it, you know. It's, oh, it's, it's tragic. It's, it's a great, great, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, mon, a, mon, a natural monument. Oh, so Canterbury in mourning today. Yeah, Canterbury's in mourning, and, but, uh, but, but, the, but the sun's shining, there's no clouds around. I think we're going for a high of 16 or 17 today. Something like so, that. But not one of those murky, you know, murky ones you have. It's a nice dry one. Sure. Yeah, but Thanks. it's all good. Thanks, Ariel. Hey, onwards and upwards, Wemo, and, and Star 5 5. Star, go to Star 5 5. Star 5 5. Do it. Yes, go, go, go. <laughs> Ariel L there, on holiday, it seems. Here's Andrew Kogan.